A tropical cyclone can be described as a relatively small, intensely developed low pressure cell that takes place over warm ocean water, usually moving from east to west. There are three conditions required for these storms to strengthen into tropical cyclones. Firstly, a developing storm should maintain contact with warm waters of approximately 27 degrees Celsius to gather heat and energy. Secondly, consistent evaporation of seawater from the sea surface is necessary. And finally, a wind pattern near the ocean surface that spirals air inward. These conditions lead to a column of spiraling air with an intense low pressure in the center creating thunderstorms while allowing air to warm further and rise higher into the atmosphere. Once a tropical cyclone is distinctly developed, it forms a clear structure which looks like a hole when seen from above. This hole is called the eye and around the eye is the eye wall, which is where most destructive conditions are found. These conditions include severe storms and strong destructive winds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. A mature tropical cyclone will last as long as these atmospheric and oceanic conditions remain favorable. These conditions are the storm should still be in contact with warm ocean water. This can last as long as seven days. Once a tropical cyclone moves over land, it loses its source of energy and momentum and then begins to disappear which meteorologists refer to as dissipating. In the South Indian Ocean, they are referred to as tropical cyclones, such as the one Dineo, and over the United States, they are called hurricanes, while in Southeast Asia, in places such as India and Japan, they are referred to as typhoons. In Australia, these storms are called willy-wileys. They are further given individual names in alphabetical order. The first, for example, would have been called Abella. Bransby, Carlos, and Dineo are other names that are given to storms. The effects of such storms can be devastating as floods may destroy agricultural land and cattle, infrastructure, and also cause deaths as a result of drowning. The strong winds associated with these storms can uproot trees, topple buildings, and cause storm surges along the affected coastal areas.